Hey YouTube, I'm here with a haul for you guys. Um, to make it easier, I broke it up into categories so I can keep myself in order. Um, one is clothes and shoes, one is household stuff, um, video games, and beauty. So um, let's get started. The first topic that I'm going to speak about is clothes, one of my favorites. Um, I was actually thrift store shopping. I think it's really fun. Um, this was not too recent. This was a few weeks back, I believe. It was the last time I went to a thrift store. Um, I went that morning to, I live in Chicago, and one of our malls here is called Water Tower. And so I went there and I was shopping. And I've never really been the type of girl to wear, like, the Abercrombie, um, American Eagle type clothes. But, you know, I'm trying to change up my style a little bit, so... I went into American Eagle and I saw a shirt. I'm like, oh, okay, this is cute. But I looked at the tag and it was a little more than I wanted to pay for something that I probably wouldn't get that much wear out of. So I left it behind, um, got on the train, went to the thrift store, was just looking around, didn't really see nothing that I liked. And what did I find? The shirt. And what's crazy is, you're never going to believe this, it is, it's my size and it still has a tag on it. So I don't know how that happened. I don't. I couldn't have planned it better if I wanted to. Um, but I was really excited to be able to get it. I think I paid like two dollars or two fifty for it. And on the tag, it was on sale for thirty four ninety five. So I'm glad I didn't pay thirty four ninety five because I probably won't wear it that much. This is what it looks like. It has the little. Um, I don't know what you call that. Like folds of fabric, and it's just a button up shirt. And then I got this one also you can see it has the little Hollister bird um, I was never ever ever a Hollister girl but I just thought the shirt was cute this one was worn um, it looked to be maybe worn like one time I don't care about that I just washed it in hot water and bleach and called it a day but I think it's cute it has the stripes and then it has this like flower print on the cuff so this one I actually think I will wear more often it's really comfortable it doesn't feel any different than a t-shirt okay moving on to shoes um, me and my boyfriend went to the outlet mall um, a little while ago, and I got two pairs of shoes from the Nike outlet. The first ones that I got are these Dunks, which I think are really cute. I love bright colors. I'm not the type to just wear black and gray. I love colors. Um, as you can tell by my eyes, they kind of match <laughs> a little bit. Um, but these are only $20. I'm a kid. I I'm not a kid. No. <laughs> I wear kid sizes. Um, so it makes my shoe shopping a lot easier. Um, and then I just got these. They're just plain black Air Force Ones. You can't see them too well in this camera. Um, the lighting is better, but it's still kind of hard to see. They're just plain black Air Force Ones. The only weird thing is they came with these, like, red and blue laces. I personally would not put red and blue laces on these shoes, but someone might. So, whatever. I can save them for some other use. They're cute. And then me and my mom were down in downtown Chicago, and there was a man advertising, um, and we were in the loop, and there was a man advertising um, a sample sale, and so we're like, oh, we'll check it out. And so I got a pair of shoes there um, from Juicy. They are authentic. They have all the tags and the Juicy paper and all that stuff, all that good stuff. Um, this is what they look like. They're just like a loafer type shoe. This is juicy on the inside. It has the little charms, which was my favorite part. They're black suede. They were cute. They were honestly, I don't think they're really anything all that special, but I'll get a lot of use out of them. They're super comfortable. Um, on the box, it says that they were two hundred and seventy-five dollars, and I paid thirty-nine dollars. They were forty-nine, but we talked the guy down to thirty-nine just because it's fun. Um, so I got a pair of juicy suede shoes for $39. I'm assuming these are not at all a current style that they have, but I could care less. They're just black loafers, so that was exciting. Okay, moving on to household stuff. There was a store by my apartment that was closing, and so me and my mother-in-law took a walk down there, um, about a week ago. And I got this. I just thought that was cute. It's like a, um, photo carousel I guess you could say there's no pictures in it yet because they're getting developed right now but I think I paid like a dollar for this it's plastic it's not metal or anything so it won't last too long but I just thought it was cute and then I picked up these frames they're like the shadow box frames um this was one dollar and then my mother-in-law went back and got me three more so I can put them up in my in um, me and my boyfriend's bedroom so that'll be cute and then she also 
Moving right along into the beauty section, she got me two belly button rings. She surprised me with them. Um, one is a red fake Chanel, and one is a blue um, baby fat. So she kind of did a sneak attack with that one. She surprised me with it, which was very sweet as well. And then I just got two packs of bamboo earrings. These ones are the same as the ones I'm wearing, but these are getting kind of nasty. So these are just to replace those, and these are just, you know... Nothing special. These were a dollar each. They're cheap little earrings. They're like plastic, but I like them. Okay. Uh, beauty. Um, I also got this Dove. It's supposed to like make your hair um, feel as though you just dyed it. Like that nice, soft, silky feeling. I don't... It's nothing special. I wouldn't buy it again. But they were five for a dollar, so I got five of them. I got these nails. They were at the Dollar Tree for one dollar. And I know they sell these in a lot of the other stores like Target, Walmart, what's, you know, Walgreens, wherever you have near you. Um, so I just got these for fun. They're cute. They have little crosses on them, if you can see. I don't usually wear red, but since I have pink right now, it's not too much of a jump. Then at the outlet mall, my boyfriend got me two eyeshadows. I got this burgundy color right here, which is Glamour Check. And this uh, black with sparkles color which is called Mont Black. Um, I just depotted them and put them in my palette. I'm on my second palette which makes me so excited because I finished my first one. So um, it's kind of a collection I've been you know building slowly with time. Um, sorry I'm rushing I don't want to turn this into a two video thing because that's annoying. Um, then we got two me and my boyfriend got two video games. He got me he surprised me with the little big planet video game Which is my favorite video game ever. I love this game. It's so much fun um, For any of you girls whose boyfriends are video game heads and you don't like video games at all Give this a try just rent it or borrow it from someone. It's really fun I you know, I love it and it's something that you can do like if that's what your boyfriend's interested in You can get into that with him or even you know your guy friend someone you have a crush on your brother or even you, you know? And then we got Guitar, uh, no. DJ Hero? I don't know where the game is, so I'm just showing the turntables. This game is really fun, but it's really hard. Um, I'm gonna put a video up. There's a video of our niece. Um, we were playing it for the first time, and our niece thought it was, she just turned three, and she thought it was the funnest thing in the world to, like, dance. She was breaking it down in the middle of the house. Like, it was hilarious. So I'm gonna put that video up, but... Um, this video game is a lot of fun too, so I suggest this. This is great for like a party. Um, we had our niece's party here and all the kids were playing on Rock Band and on, um, um, DJ Hero. They had a great time, even though they really didn't know what they were doing, so, um, I definitely suggest that you guys get this one as well, if you're able to for the holiday season, because it's really fun for all those parties when you don't really know what to say to each other. Um, so that is it for my first haul. I hope you guys enjoyed what I got. I know I did. And if you have any questions, please just leave me a message, a comment, whatever. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you ladies later. Bye!